Hi hey everyone, I'm FM Greeno. Welcome along to episode 11 of the Greeno Tour. Well, as you can see, we are still here with Sterling Albion. Nothing came of that job in Bucharest that I was interviewed for. Today we've made a trip over to Dublin, very exotic, for this weird little cup competition semi-final. Let's get into it. As you can see, things are still going very, very well in the league. We currently sit top, seven points ahead of Queen's Park in second place, having played the same amount of games. Nearest challengers behind them are Cove Rangers, who are 15 points behind us, having played a game more. So it really is just between the two of us, us and Queen's Park, for that top spot this season. If we take a look at the schedule, the last time you were with us was for that 3-1 win on New Year's Day against Airdrie. We followed that up with a 1-0 win down at Queen of the South. A goal from Andy Ryan to win that game for us. We then played Dumbarton at home in the Cup. A 1-0 win again. Lloyd Jones scoring in very early on in the game. First minute, in fact. And we just held on to win the game. We then suffered our first defeat of the season. Uh, which isn't bad, considering it was on the 22nd of January. We went to our broth and got beat 1-0. Yeah, not a great performance, really. But we put things right straight afterwards with a 2-0 win against Forfa. Dundee were our next opponents in the cup and we really held our own to be honest we were 2-2 with five minutes left to go but unfortunately just fell apart they can see uh, we conceded sorry two late goals Dundee ran out 4-2 winners so that was the end of our Scottish Cup adventure for this season but just a few days later we put the disappointment of that behind us and we played Cove Rangers at home and we beat them 2-1 so that brings you right up to date we're off to Dublin. Let's see how we're set up for the game. Now, even though I think St. Pat's Athletic are a strong side, they're a professional outfit with some uh, pretty highly valued players in their side, we're still going to try and go at them a little bit. So we're going with the 4-3-3. Uh, what we have done, made a little change recently, we have moved Hodson, who came in ostensibly as a fullback. We've moved him into this halfback role in midfield. He actually plays that role really well, better than Marcel Langer does. So we've brought uh, the Celtic Loney Anderson back into the side. Solly plays at fullback on the other side and moved Hodson into midfield. The rest of the team looks fairly familiar to, I'm sure. Eastwood in goal, Pekawa and Jones at centre half. McEnroy and Mitchell in the middle of midfield, Bikey and Wilson out wide, and the main man, Andy Ryan, up top. Let's see how we do. So here we are. We can see some Pats Athletic are lining up with a 5 3 2. Which is interesting. Scouting we had, had done before showed they were going to play a 4 4 2. So I'm not quite sure why they've changed that, but we'll see. So we're underway. We are playing in our purple away strip. Fairly decent crowd in by the looks of it. We look like we've brought a few over, which is nice. Oh, a good offer, uh, opportunity for them there. Hits the bar. So they've had the better start to the game. Here's McEnroy with a ball in, though. Headed clear. Bikey runs back to get it. Back to Anderson on the halfway line. Knocks it forward. There's Ryan. He scored! His 38th of the season. This guy just cannot stop scoring. I mean, that's going to put him in, uh, in the running for all sorts of awards, surely. 38 goals at this stage of the season we are only just in february i mean if he doesn't score 50 goals this season i'll be absolutely amazed and we still haven't had anyone really sniffing around him very much Partick thistle showed some interest but didn't come in with a bid and nothing else since so quite surprising really oh that was a very very static defense from the corner there wasn't it they nodded it wide thankfully yeah, overall, I'm so pleased at how things are going. Um, to be top of the league, seven points clear. Not that many games left to play, to be honest. So it's a really, really strong position to be in. And it has actually brought another club knocking at the door. So um, the team ZTE from Hungary have, uh, have offered me an interview. They're currently sat 11th in their league. In the top division, mind. So it's a step up. Uh, let's get through into half time. 
pleased with how things are going. So yes, yeah, so they've offered me an interview. Obviously a much bigger wage budget, bigger stadium, better facilities, etc, etc. But they are in a real relegation battle in the Hungarian top flight. So I attended the interview anyway. So we'll see if anything comes of it. And then we, maybe we'll have a decision to make. Who knows? So yeah, things are going okay in the game here. We're still holding on to our 1-0 lead. Here's Ryan. Back to Anderson, gets a ball in. Wilson, oh, 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 it's disallowed. That was a beautiful cross and a great header. But unfortunately, he must have been just offside. Let's take another look at it. Oh, my goodness, that's not true. The centre-half was playing him on. Unbelievable. That's a pretty inept free kick there from Chris Solly. Picked up by Doyle for them. And Shaw is through on goal. Good save, Eastwood. Earning his salary today. That's a great save. And can we defend this corner a little bit better than we did the one earlier in the game? Yes, we can. And it's up to Ryan that the highlight ends. So, what are we going to do here? I think we really do need to go back into a cautious mentality. And it is probably time for a change. We're not going to be changing anyone because they're a yellow card away. Uh, let's have a little look who we can bring in. Anyone having a poor game. So Hodson's not having a great game. Nor is Wilson actually. So we might change him. We've got this young lad on loan from Watford. He's not very good. But we just needed some cover in a wide area. So he's going to come on Dominic Hutchison for a little while. And we're going to bring Langer on in that role. Where Hodson has been fairly ineffective today. 20 minutes to go. 15 now. Mitchell with a free kick from wide left area. Going to curl it with his right foot. Cleared by their defender. Back to Solly now. McInroy knocks it forward. Bikey. Ryan, he's got to be offside. He is. He is. In fact, I think Bikey might have been offside even before. <laughs> yeah, look. Bikey's offside there. Then he gets the ball. Knocks it onto Ryan, who is also offside. <laughs> pretty impressive being offside twice in one move so we got very tired central defenders i don't normally like to change a center back but we might just do that now we'll bring on sean hoare he can come on for lloyd jones just for the last five minutes just to make sure there's someone with fresh legs back there we're going to go into injury time now three minutes of it i'm really surprised at how uneventful this really was and we've got through one nil and fairly comfortably. Well, that's a great win for us. And it takes us through to the final of the tournament. It gets back to a fairly sensible kind of feel now. All the uh, foreign clubs have been knocked out. And we're playing Queen's Park in the final. So I doubt that's the final anyone would have predicted at the start. Considering all the championship teams were in there. Plus the, uh, the Premier Division reserves. You'd know, have thought Celtic reserves and Rangers reserves would give anyone a run for their money in this competition. But it's us and Queen's Park again. Well, unless anything comes of that job in Hungary, and I'm not even sure I'll take it if I'm offered it, to be honest, we will come back for that Queen's Park Cup final. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The game wasn't the prettiest to watch, but it's a great result for us against a strong opponent. And obviously, off to get new suits now. Well, if you did enjoy it, please drop a like on there for me. And if you've got any comments you'd like to make about this episode or the series as a whole so far, I would love to see them below. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We've got a lot of good content on there at the moment. There's the Mighty Madyars, of course, where I'm managing Hungary, and plenty of stuff in the back catalogue to entertain you as well. But it just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more action with Sterling Albion. Bye for now.